coming down. I'm gonna be able to eat. Some of my favorites. Now I'm arrow one. That he wears. That's what he's got on. Welcome back, YouTube. I am back right in the same spot that we had left off in the last video, which was just a week ago when we had that tornado happen. It was like 65 degrees then. Today it's like 20 degrees, so super cold. Um, I was very disappointed I didn't actually get to camp and try out the new setup as far as the truck. But um, we're going to try it today, and it's going to really test it with it being as cold and see how well that carpet actually uh, keeps it insulated inside. Um, but yeah, crazy 65 degrees last week, no snow this week. Uh, just exactly seven days later, we got snow on the ground and it's 20 degrees out. I did do a few modifications. As you'll see here, I added a light here on top. So when the gate is shut, it'll shine light on the inside. And when the hatch is open like this and tailgate's down, I can see light on uh, when I'm cooking. Um, so this kind of set up. So very excited. I did add these lights um, around the sides. I'm going to mess around with it a little bit, try to make it uh, a little bit better, but we shall see. All right, because it's so cold out, let me shut this light off. This light is rechargeable, by the way, too. I don't know if I had mentioned that, but this light is rechargeable. It sticks right on the window, so very cool. The new ones are LEDs. They're super bright, um, so I should have plenty of lighting uh, after this next video. This isn't going to be a crazy video like the last one where, you know, we kind of got hit by a tornado. It's going to be a nice, relaxing weekend. I think I have someone coming to come meet me down here, Colin, with uh, Kincaid Outdoors. I don't know if you guys remember him or not. But uh, I think him and his son is going to be coming out and joining me. Just a nice, relaxful overnight camping in a truck. Nothing beats a, a good old classic truck camping uh, in the wintertime. So, got my Mr. Buddy heater tonight for the heat. And tonight, I think we're going to be making uh, pizza. I'm going to try to make some pizza. If not, I do have some of those mountain house meals. I think I have like a chicken and rice. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, cook that for dinner. Hopefully the pizza turns out good. I don't have to resort to the mountain house, but if not, that's okay. I do like the the chicken rice does sound pretty good right now. Um, so there's not a whole lot to do. So this is going to be kind of a short video and not all that entertaining. So uh, if you guys stick with it, awesome. If not, I totally understand, you know, nothing crazy. So I got the silver. All right. Guess who just showed up? Colin from Kincaid Outdoors. Colin from Kincaid Outdoors, and you brought me gifts? Yes, I did. Sweet. What do we got? Got some venison sticks. Oh my goodness. Sticks, and venison summer sausage. Oh. Even better. Just don't hit anybody. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's going to be nice. And it says, it doesn't say anything about give. It's gifts, so. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And Colin's going to be camping out in the back of the van so I'm excited about that I got my buddy famous coming out to visit for a little bit and my boy Ian's in there in the passenger seat keep warm this is about to be a, uh, a nice little get together it's chilly though right Colin it's a, it's a little yeah. chilly out here well, my fingers are like freezing yeah we need to get uh we need to get dinner going now because as you can see we're about to lose some sunlight and uh we don't want to be cooking in the dark so we're gonna go ahead and start getting dinner ready as I said we're gonna be making some pizzas tonight so Stay tuned, y'all. Not burning, hurting. So look, the light's the... gonna shine down. I'm gonna be able to eat. Very cool. I'm gonna put these in the freezer and my fridge. <laughs> <laughs> we're, 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 all hover, we're all hovering around, a little little buddy here, because it is is absolutely getting cold out. <laughs> I'm actually I'm kind of curious about since I got mine going in the uh, van right now. I do the same. Some pepperonis. Ooh, yes. Some pitas. And the final words of sauce. Some pizza sauce. Oh, you forgot something. Um, cheese. <laughs> so okay, okay. oh, there we go. There we go. And now we're cooking one. Now, now we're cooking. Wait, wait. <laughs> what kind of cheese is this? Kobe Jack. Jackers. What's wrong with what Kobe Jack? It's pizza. multi purpose. Parmesan. <laughs> hey, I'm lactose intolerant. Be lucky I even have some cheese at all. <laughs> well, I hate to tell you this, some of this stuff's got cheese in it. That's all right. As long as it's not a lot of it. <laughs> okay, it is super cold. All right, I can get this going. I gotta add some more pizza sauce to this. Let's see if it turns down even a little bit. 
Since I'm right, kill some talent. Let's see if I can. Perfect. Knock that top up a little bit. Ooh, wow. Does Ooh. that look good or what? You need a lid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little bit <laughs> All right, next one up. Colin? Ian. Ian? You know me, I'll let my boy eat first. You do, I do the same. This is a plant of steel. I'm going to see one of those, I guess. I always heard of Barbara. Sure. And this is a, the baby version of the other bio rods that you saw. And that's a piece of... Uh, that wood, and that's the chair cloth. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Is it busted or is it busted, busted? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need to go to the oven and do that. The plate actually worked out a little good, you know, kind of get that heat in. Love it. I it. I'm bringing out the one thing I always have on my channel. I'll pass it. Mine's a Mountain Dew, you just don't always see it. <laughs> That's how I feel with all the Budweiser drinks and things like this. He did say thank you. Not a problem. It's not easy to be cheesy. That's true. <laughs> this is actually a Hell's Kitchen non-stick, non-Teflon pan. So this pan was like $180. I, I um, cast iron like was, it. was like 10 bucks. I have cast iron and you know I'm a big cast iron guy, but for the truck camping, yeah. so much easier cleaning in and out. Everything comes right off of it. So I absolutely love it. Well, like I said, Whew. this is easier to pick up off and on. Like turn off. Uh, it also makes a really good shield. Let's <laughs> try it. See if that'll... Oh, wow, I actually did fit perfectly. <laughs> Crawled back in the truck. Let's get the lights on. There we go. All the new LED lightings. It's pretty similar to what he's got there. It just, uh, let's see. And it's got a it's got a midnighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As does the uh, heat buddy. There's yeah, the pizza. That, that portable, let's like, see how good it actually yep. it looks and it tastes My as good as it looks. Why you tell me that? Uh, that's why oh. I've never seen those cameras. <laughs> it's in the Walmart. I've never seen one like that. Nice and hot when it's so cold out. They have a smaller one, but I've never seen those canisters for them. Yeah. That's what it is right there. That's crazy. It works really, really well. It looks like it does, though. Nice little flame on it. Nam Era 1 that he wears. That's what he's got on. Oh, yeah. I a like kid that one. loves military gear. That's crazy. He's got a Vietnam Era axe in there, and he's got a Man. shovel, the whole nine yards. <clears throat> All right, so we are up in here. We got the Mr. Buddy heater going. Uh, we have dinner, as you guys saw a little bit earlier. I was already eating some of it. We made pizza. Brought the laptop. I'm gonna watch some Netflix. Uh, just kind of hang out for the night. I'm just gonna have a different angle. Like I said, I haven't finished this side up yet. We got everything running. Oh, I got the GoPro batteries up here charging. We got about 63 watts of power being used. Dropped it down from 90 to 88. Got the lights running. All I gotta do, shut the lights off, hit that button, turn that button back on. Oh yeah, this is about to be good. Nothing like watching one of your favorite movies in the back of your truck. Turn that light off. I'll set you guys back over here. All right, movie just got over. Go ahead and turn on the lights. Oh, there we go. Nice and bright in here. So, Into the Wild. Haven't watched that movie in, man, a few years. And uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. Uh, 
Colin's already up. Colin's a morning person, I'm not. Yeah, this is Colin from Kincaid Outdoors. Breakfast of champions. Bacon. I managed to uh, make him make the breakfast. <laughs> I told him I was going to get the supplies and I haven't got out of the truck. So he, he just took over. First. Yeah, whoever gets up first he has to make breakfast. <laughs> is going. Yum yum. Sugar dude? Mm -mm. You sure? Nope. Okay. That's six eggs. If we wanted to make a second batch we got enough for making the second batch of eggs. We got eight eggs in mind. And the rest, and if you want some coffee, we got coffee. Nope. It's... Thank you. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, we're just kind of exploring the park a little bit, then I'm heading home. But um, if you guys like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.